Yvonne Jeanne de Vibrau Basidon was born on 20 January 1922 and died on 28 October 2017. She later known as Yvonne Burney, was one of approximately 50 female special operations executive, so, agents. On 4 September 1940, aged 18, Basidon joined the Women's Auxiliary Air Force, WAF, as a general duties clerk. Service No. 4189. She was commissioned in 1941, later promoted to the rank of section officer, and worked in the Rough Intelligence Branch, where she assisted in the interrogation of captured airmen and submarine crews. It was through this work that she came to the attention of the Special Operations Executive, so, which she joined on 24 May 1943. One of the youngest so women to be dropped by parachute, age 22, Basedon left from RAF Thamesford Air Base near Sandy on the night of 18-19 March 1944. Her field name was Ode. She was parachuted into France with Gonzague saint Genies, a French organizer, field name, Lucien. They were dropped into southwest France, close to the village of Gabarit. The local resistance were working for George Starr's network named Wheelwright. They hid them for a few days, then she made her own way across France, her wireless equipment traveling separately, to Jura in eastern France, where she worked for four months as the wireless operator to the Scholar Circuit. Her cover story was that she was Mademoiselle Yvonne Bnier, a shorthand typist and secretary. Following the largest daylight airdrop of the war to that date, during a routine search by the Gestapo on 26 June 1944, she was trapped in a cheese factory with seven colleagues from the network. Her organizer took a suicide bill immediately, as he was known to the Gestapo. Basedon was found, arrested and taken away for local questioning. At the end of that month, she was moved to the Gestapo headquarters in Dijon and kept in solitary confinement. On 25 August 1944, she was transferred to a prison in Saarbrücken and then to Ravensbrück concentration camp on 4 September of the same year. While at Ravensbrück, she became ill and was put in the camp hospital, nursed by, among others, Mary Lindell, where she remained until the liberation of the camp. She was one of 50 women released from Ravensbrück to the Swedish Red Cross. All the women were driven in coaches across Germany and Denmark and then on to Sweden. In Malmö, they were cleaned and deloused. Basedon spent her first nights of freedom on a mattress on the floor of the Malmö Museum of Prehistory, sleeping under the skeletons of dinosaurs. She was then flown to Scotland and put on a train to Euston. On her arrival at Euston, there was no one to meet her, so she called the air ministry and the duty officer arranged for Vera Adkins to meet her. Adkins then took her home to her father at Brockwell Park.